Welcome back to the challenge 5. In this video, we'll understand how do we find out the average price of stopped or discontinued products. What is this example or the question here? There are multiple products. Now, there are some products which are discontinued, some are already going on. And we want to find out the average price of discontinued products. Let me take you to the table over here. There are multiple tables we have loaded in the uh, challenge 1. If you go back to the products table, Carefully observe, there are products which are discontinued. We have true and false options. So true option, if you see Sony product is discontinued. And then we have one more option, which is Lenovo ThinkPad, which is discontinued. So these are true options. We want to find out the average unit price of discontinued products. So usually if we want to create a table, how it looks like. So we might pick up the uh, details, let's say uh, products. When we drag and drop unit price, it becomes as 9120, which is the sum of all the unit prices if you right click and calculate the average option the average unit price becomes 912 but this is for all the average price if you see this one we have just calculated this example here but what about the stopped or discontinued products so we have an option of discontinued i can drag and drop the option over here and when i do that uh, you can see we have true and false options okay now in this true and false option if i select the true value true means these are discontinued products so the average price of this discontinued product is 889.00, which is the average price. Now we want to calculate the same using a DAX functions. Okay, how do we do that? Okay, let's try to understand. The answer should be uh, 889, which is the value over here. Let's begin, everyone. So what is a hint I can give you here? In the products table, the column name is discontinued, which is value as true. So we want to, uh, you know, we want to filter the data first, and then we want to calculate average. Let's begin. We'll go to the uh, new measure option and uh, we'll write down the function name as let's say average price discontinued, which is a bit lengthy, I know. But uh, all text, we'll use a function named as average x. Okay, so average x, we need to give two things. One is a table and second is the expression. Okay, so right now we, uh, we want to give a table, but the table should be a filtered table, right? A table should be filtered table with uh, true values. So I'll use a function named as filter. Now, filter is again a function to create a table, you see. So, what, ta what table do we want? I want a table of products where the discontinued should be given as true. Okay. Discontinued should be given as true. And I can put a comma. So, this will give me a table with only true values which are discontinued. And now, I want to calculate the average of a column named as unit price. Okay. A column named as unit price. And I can just close the bracket. So, what is going to happen? Let me explain you. We, we already took this table, okay, in which only the uh, true values will be given. So, I'm, I'm selecting this true value. I'll select the option as true value, okay. So, this is the output. Two rows will be given, uh, two rows will be given to this particular line. Once we get this two rows, we get unit price. So, unit price, two options are there, 377, 79 or 1399. And then that is the unit price. For that unit price, we are trying to calculate the average. Okay, so once I press enter, I will be getting the output here. Let's try and check if the answer is correct. I can drag and drop this field over here and you see the values how much? It is 889. Okay, 889. Now, even if I deselect this uh, true value, if you see, it's still given as the 889. So, this value will not be uh, changed based on the filter data. Okay, based on the filter data, it won't change. So, uh, this becomes my implicit measure, okay, and this becomes my explicit measure. So, for this, I have to write function and get the output. For this one, I have to just filter, drag and drop and get the output. So, when I'm selecting true value, I'm getting the output here. Now, suppose I want for the continued product, this is for discontinued. I can go back here, instead of true, I can just type here, let's say false and enter. So, for all the false value, this is 917. Let's check here. If I click here, 917.5. So, this is how we get the option here. So, this was the function, a challenge, which was finding the average price of discontinued products in Power BI DAX. In the next video, we'll understand what percentage of sales come from discontinued products. Let's understand in the next video, in the next challenge, challenge number six.